Hey, I'm back, and today we're going to talk about an interesting connection between poor posture and vitamin D. Now, you may know vitamin D is involved with calcium metabolism. Most people know that. But there's a secondary major function of vitamin D that many people don't know about, and that is this, the development of osteoclasts. What is that? Those are the cells in your bone that actually help you absorb calcium. So vitamin D actually helps those cells develop so you can make bone. Now, when a child is severely deficient in vitamin D, they get this condition called rickets, okay? Like bowed legs. It starts to affect the structure of the skeleton. Well, there's a mild version of rickets. You see this in adults and even teenagers. It's called osteomalacia, okay? So it's a milder version of rickets in which you're getting a lack of mineralization of the skeletal system. So you don't have the strong support of, let's say, the arches on your feet or the, the, your back. So one of the symptoms of osteomalacia or vitamin D deficiency is kyphosis, which is basically hunchback. Your, your posture starts going forward like this because you don't have the minerals to support the structure. So this is just another important reason to take vitamin D or get enough sun, uh, especially for your kids. Uh, if you're pregnant, if you're breastfeeding, you need to take vitamin D for sure. One last point. One of the first symptoms of a vitamin D deficiency and one of the big symptoms of osteomalacia is aches and pains. So if you have any aches or pains or especially low back pain, try some vitamin D you may notice some really great improvement on that. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the... Uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto intermittent fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special, if you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.